Hello and welcome to the fourth and final tutorial on the series I'm doing on the project panel in Premiere Pro. In this final tutorial we're going to be looking at importing footage into our project panel ready to use in our sequences and in our projects. And there are quite a few ways of importing footage. Now what I've got here is the project that we created before called bin templates. I've just uh, added a few more bits and pieces. There is no footage at all inside these bins but I've got an audio bin, um, I've got a footage bin with two cameras, I've got a pix bin which has got JPEGs and PSDs, I've got a sequence bin which has just got sequence one which was created with the project and I've got a titles bin ready to add titles in. Now I'm not going to add bits and pieces into all of these. Now the standard way to import footage would be to go file, import and you can see there's a keyboard shortcut here, control I for a PC, that'll be command I for a Mac and if you click on that import or command or control I you come up with a standard import dialog box and you can choose your footage and import it. And if you're a keyboard user using the command or the control I shortcut, that's great. There is also a mouse shortcut, and that is when you're in the project panel, choose some of the blank space below all your footage. Now, right at the bottom of the footage panel, no matter how much footage is in there, if you scroll to the very bottom, you'll always find a little slither that you can double click in to open up the same dialog box. Double click it, and you can open the dialog box and you can bring pieces in. However, if I was to bring a bit in now, say this 3DC, it would go to the bottom and it wouldn't be in any of my bins, which isn't what I want. So what I need to do is open up the appropriate bin, say Cam1. I might want to, say, double click on that. So what I can do is double click and I can choose a couple of bits of footage. Let's just choose these three here, click open, and it will bring them all directly into my Cam1 folder. I can shut that off and they've been brought straight into this bin, Cam1 bin and that's a brilliant way of importing footage. So you can do double clicking, you can follow bin structures. I've done a previous tutorial on how to open up these bins and bring footage in, so please do go and have a look at that. Right, how else can I bring in footage as well as double clicking? Well, I can use my standard Explorer. So on the PC it's an Explorer, and on the Mac that would be the Finder. And I can go to the appropriate place where I know I've got bits and pieces sorted out, go down and find my appropriate places, check through my assets and find the bit that I want to bring in, say a baseball JPEG, click that and I can drag it and I can actually physically drop it into Pix. Shut this down and then if I open up Pix, there it is at the bottom. It's not gone into the right folder because I didn't have it open but I could just drag it and drop it into JPEGs. Now it's in JPEGs and I can double click it and there it is in my source panel available and in there. So you can use your Explorer or your Finder to actually access footage but it's probably not the best way of doing it because there are two other very powerful options. So let me demonstrate. The next option is found through going to your file menu. You go File, Browse in Bridge. And this opens a brand new application called Adobe Bridge. I'm gonna go back and navigate to the file where the piece of footage I want is. It's in this Assets folder here. I've got a whole series of different bits and pieces. I've got training assets, I've got some even more interesting assets here. Let's look at this one here. And I can preview it over here. Simply click on it. It brings it up in the preview area, click the play button, I can actually have a look at it. This was a free download, I believe, from one of the magazines I subscribe to. There you go, 3D outline. I might want to bring that one in, or uh, possibly these falling leaves. Again, a free, free preview. Yep, that looks like the one I want to bring in. Now, I can just double click and it will bring it into the project panel. But if I go back to my project panel and I open up footage and say I select camera 2, and then I go back to bridge and I double click now with that bin selected, double click and it brings it straight into camera 2. So by using bridge I can actually support importing lots of bits and pieces into the appropriate bin as long as that bin is selected when I double click or import the footage. Now in bridge I can preview a whole series of bits and pieces, I can obviously preview all my bits of footage, I can have a look at my different JPEGs but I can also check out sound effects. So if I go back up one to my assets, I actually have a sound of FX folder. If I open that up, these are some sound chapel sound effects that I got free from a magazine that I subscribe to. Um, and I can go in and say, look at fireworks. And I'm gonna turn the, uh, the speaker on in my system so you can hear this and click play. That's the uh, sound effects. 
So you can see in Bridge you can check out all kinds of bits and pieces. If you want to import that, again, I'll just go back to Premiere Pro, make sure I'm in the right bin, so that would be Audio FX, then go back to Bridge, I can double click, I want that one, and it drops it straight into the Effects folder. Brilliant, so that's another way of checking out and looking at footage and using what you want to use. However, there is a fourth way that does give us some other very powerful options because we can set in and out points before we even import the footage into our project. And that's down here, another panel called the Media Browser. Now with the Media Browser, it's very much like the Explorer. You need to navigate to where you know your footage is. So I'm just going to open up the screen a bit so I've got a bit more screen real estate. I know it's on my D drive and I know I've got some training files and I've got some Premiere Pro training files, double click on that and I can go down and find final projects see how this start and then we have the bits and pieces. Now 3DC, if I double click on 3DC you'd have thought that you'd add it to your project but actually you won't so let's double click and what it does is it opens up the file in my source monitor but it's not opened it in any place in my project manager it's not being brought in. However, I can now preview this footage and decide which bits that I want on that wave that goes across there. So I can set an in point, I can set an out point, and then I can either click and drag it into my project panel, or I can click and drag and drop it on my timeline. And when I do that, it will also add it to the project panel. So if I let go, it's added it to the project panel. Now, I'm just going to delete that. If I were to say click in place with Cam 1, so if I hold Control double click so that it opens it up in place, and I try and import this now, thinking that it would import into this folder, watch what happens. Click, drag, and drop, nothing's happened. And yet, if I navigate back up to my original folder, you'll find that it's taken in as a separate item right at the top because of alphabetical order. So it doesn't support putting it into folders, but it does allow you to go through all your footage and double click it, open it up in the source panel, have a look at it, check out whether you want to use that footage or not, set in and out points and import it directly into your project file, which is a great time saver. My only slight niggle is that it's a little bit slower than some of the other options because it takes a little while to load and actually find the appropriate bits and pieces. But even so, it's a very powerful way of previewing your footage, setting in and out points, putting it straight to your timeline and having it added to your project file so that you can put it into the appropriate folder when you need to. So those are the ways of importing. I can do Control or Command I. I can double click in this space here to open up the import dialog box. I can use my Explorer or my Finder just to drag and drop items in. I can go to File, Browse in Bridge and I can look at all my different types of footage, assets, sound effects, try out and see what I think and then select the folder I want them in and drop them in there. Or alternatively, I can use the media browser and I can look at the actual bits of footage itself, double click on them. I can preview them without adding them to my project panel, which can save me dropping in lots and lots of clips that I think I might need when really I don't want to and just filling my project panel up with stuff that I don't want. So those are the options for importing footage into the project panel. I hope you found this useful. There will be a further tutorial when I look at the project manager and a couple of other bits and pieces. But for the project panel itself, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.